In this video, I am going to show you how to change Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, port forwarding and DMSZ configuration in Airtel RL841GWV DGB Wi-Fi router. First, we need to log in the router using web browser. Default IP is 192.168.1.1. Default username and password is admin admin. Here I am logging with that. If you want to change the SSID name and password, we need to select network, then select WLAN. Here we are able to see SSID. If you are unchecking the enable WLAN, the Wi Fi will be disabled. If you want to change the name, you can select SSID and then put the new name which one you want. Also, you can change the password. Here you can see WPA key, then select and type the new password, then press apply button. Once after changing this name and password, you need to press the apply button. Don't forget this one. If you are connected the same Wi-Fi, you will lose the connectivity. So I am not doing that one. For the port forwarding or virtual host configuration, we need to go for application. Then advanced net, you can see here we can see virtual host configuration. For the port forwarding, we need to use the virtual host configuration. First, we are able to see the WAN interface, which is the WAN we are using for doing the port forwarding. We need to select that one. Here, there is an option for application or custom. Custom means we can define the ports and everything. Application by default, predefined port we will get. We need to only enter the IP of the server. If you want to verify the port forwarding, we will give you for the external access of internal server. Here, I have already a web server. I am going to I am going to do the same web server port from outside access. For this one, we need to select the protocol. First, we need to make sure internally the ports are accessible. Then we need to go for the port forwarding or virtual configuration. We need to select the protocol. Here you are having multiple options. If you want to use the protocol TCP, we can use the TCP option. Or if you want to use the UDP, we can use UDP option. Then enter the external start port. Here I am using 8080. So I am entering the 8080. Also ending port of external. The same port I am using. If you have range of port, you can use the range of port there. Then enter the internal server IP. And also we need to enter internal ports. If you are using external port range, once after entering the internal port, automatically it will start from that port to that range. Then enter the mapping name. Then press add button. Here we have added the port forwarding or virtual host. If you want to verify the same, we can try with the public IP. Make sure your WAN interface and the show my IP is getting same. Then only it will be public. We can verify with the public IP and then we can verify our port forwarding. Here the port forwarding is working fine. If you want to delete the port forwarding, we can select the port forwarding and then press the delete button. If you want to enable the DMSZ option, enable the DMSZ and enter the IP of DMSZ server. Then press the apply button. If you want to disable, uncheck the enable option. Then press the apply button. Every configuration change, we need to press the apply button for saving the configuration. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.